Welcome back to the channel. Now, in this video, I'm going to teach you how you can get that perfect action shot. You know, you want to freeze that moment where the best of the action is happening. And we're going to show you how to do this on a camera phone using burst mode. Let's get started. Now, it's a very simple thing to do. I'm using the iPhone 13. So if you're using an iPhone XR, XS or anything later than that, one of the more recent models, then you simply put your finger on the shutter button and drag it to the left. Now, as a word of warning, if you're taking your shots in landscape mode with your phone in this kind of orientation, you'll be dragging the shutter button down the screen. For earlier models, you touch and hold the shutter button. Now, while you've got the burst mode activated, you'll see the camera counts up how many shots it's taking. Here's some I took of my dog, and it's taken a burst of 24 photos. Once you've taken your burst of photos, you're gonna to want to review them and find that perfect shot that's caught the action just as you wanted it. So to do that, what you need to do is open the Photos app, and now look for your burst photos. Now the way you find them is they're shown as a little stack of images. And if you look carefully at the little grid, you'll see that there's a slightly, um, there's a bit more depth to the burst photos. You'll see a little stack. Not that obvious, but if you look carefully, you'll see what I mean. Now, if you open that, it'll show you in the top left there that it's a burst and how many photos there are. And you'll see there is an option to select at the bottom of the screen. Choose that. You can now scroll through the photos and select the ones you want to keep. It does put a little dot under the photos in the film strip that the software thinks are worth keeping. Once you've selected the ones you want to keep, you click Done. You get two options. One is to keep just the favourites you've selected. The other is to keep them all. And what it does with your favourites then is it stores them as separate photos. When you go back into your library, you'll see that the burst is still there and also the four or however many photos you've selected will be there alongside it as separate individual photographs. And one other little tip I can give you is when you're shooting your bursts, if you prefer to use the volume up button, you can do that. And you do that in the settings uh, menu. So go into settings, choose camera, and activate the option that says volume up for burst mode. Now what you should do next is go out and practice and have a go and see if you can get some great action shots. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.